Smart automation, better business. Learn how to optimize your business with Solved. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the SDR agent and what you should know before you start setting it up. And so when I set this up, I ran into a few hiccups that I wanted to share with everyone. So hopefully it's easier for you when you start setting up the SDR agent in your own org. The first thing that I wanted to call out involves emails and setting up the SDR agent user. When you set up and go through the steps of setting up the agent in Agent Force or the SDR agent, it'll have you create a user with the Einstein license that the SDR agent is going to be tied to. When you set up that user, I would recommend that you use a dedicated email for that SDR agent because later it's very hard to change that email on the SDR user. And at least right now, it's impossible to change the agent user connected to the SDR agent. And so if you go into the agent builder, you'll see the SDR agent. The SDR agent is going to be tied to the SDR user. And so when you set up the SDR user, make sure you use a email that's new and dedicated to that SDR agent. When you set up the SDR agent in the agent builder and the engagement rule settings at the very top, you'll see the email account that you will want to match to the email of the SDR agent user. And so there's two big emails at play, the, the email that the user uses, the SDR agent user, and then the email and the engagement rules settings those need to match in order for it to work. If those do not match, then you will see errors when you test out the agent. The other thing is that that does need to be a different email than your own email. And so originally for me, I said, you know what, I need to set up the SDR agent user and the SDR agent to use my email and let's see if it works. And it did not. So after talking to Salesforce, you do need those to be separate emails. You cannot be using the your own user's email for the SDR agent's email or in the SDR agent's engagement rules settings. The last thing that I'll call out is that you do need to enable the SDR user for the Einstein activity capture configuration. And once you do that, you will need to wait a little bit before that kicks in. And so if you activate it and then start trying to test, it may not work. You may need to wait a day in order to start seeing that work. And once that's working, then you'll be able to see that the agent will schedule emails correctly and that when you respond to the emails that the agent sends, that it will see that response and draft a reply. I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know if you have any questions about the SDR agent and I'd be more than happy to help out. And go check out our other videos on the channel on Agent Force, Revenue Cloud, and how to automate your business. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching. We can't wait to help you automate your business. Please like, comment, or subscribe for more.